Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and welcome back to more Pikmin 2 Regrown. This is the start of the third stream, stream number three, and probably the finale to beating the game of this game. This is all being streamed live at twitch.tv slash Pokeball35. Link in the description down below. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so because I do have a lot to offer, including this full playthrough of Pikmin 2 Regrown and everything else on the channel because I still have like 15 other Pikmin playthroughs that are also on the channel. So, previously, uh, we completed the Dept and we explored uh, more of Perplexing Pool and got to see some new stuff in Wistful Wild. Uh, I would hopefully like to beat the rest of the game today. That is the plan. So we have uh, the two caves of Perplexing Pool, and then we have Hole of Heroes, the Custom Cave, and Dream Den. Maybe I won't beat the game today. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we're going back to Perplexing Pool. There's three above-ground treasures. And I need to find the other caves. I have no idea where to be looking for some stuff. There's not much of Perplexing Pool left. Because I know we are going to need to do that. What are you doing? That's not... You're not supposed to be here. Get out of here. Alright, well... Oh, you're the kinds that also regen. So I guess that's just gonna happen. That guy's just gonna be there. Alright, so we have the old, new, old landing site. And we have you. Means even more blowhog destruction. Oh, come on. Then we've got this guy. Okay, there is a poison gate here. And they're taking a nap. Here's where we split up. Kinda. Oh, is that where they put shower room? Alright, well, we got this. That's where this is, so hold on a second. Now, we're gonna do here. We're gonna split up. You are going to take some blues. You need to take these guys. So we need to take this out. Then, uh, grab this. And toss a couple blues on there to make it faster. These two should be working on this. Oh my god. These two should be working on this. You know, President, stay there with one blue Pikmin. That is your job. Uh, I'm gonna not fight you because I don't think I need to. Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay. Uh, we still have Onion Replica there. I'm gonna have to kill these, though. Some blues are gonna die here. Oh well. So that buried thing that we just got used to be over here. Uh, but now we have this. So now it's just a battle of taking these walls down, so I can just speed up from here. But then this is done. Come back this way. And we'll see 
what this drains. Large rock sits in a reservoir. Wow. Crazy. Do this. Please beat your head. That drains that little thing, so this should be shower room. And then we are gonna throw the whites up here. Then I'm gonna go all the way back. I need to get my blues back. Oh, you know what? They deserved it. Alright, we will have to check this area later. The main goal is to try and get this, um... This last... Uh, is this the last above-ground treasure? I don't know. It's an, an above-ground treasure. We need to go back around. So do this. Please dig this up. Okay. And then get on this. Go as fast as possible. I'm just gonna throw everybody back up to Mr. President. Just because I feel like it. And there we go. Uh, and then I can kind of just grab these, I guess. Just to have something for these guys to do. Yep, we have just enough time. Onion replica. Alright, that is not the last one. Making sure I'm not missing anybody, because if I am, then that's an oops. Oh, did the snitch bug grab guys? Stitchbug grab, guys. Alright, well. That should be good enough. Nope, someone got left behind. Somewhere. <laughs> 201. One got hit by sunset. There's always one in a Pikmin playthrough that wants to stay behind. I think they're ballsy enough to do it. My allowance double. Thanks, Papa. Yeah, keep stealing my money. So I'm going to assume the last above ground treasure is in that other brand new area. I kinda want to do Submerged Castle first just to have the pluck phone However, it would be nice to do Submerged Castle last, so I don't know. Then let's go. Shower room. So I do not know if there's anything about Shower Room that's necessarily changed. No, we still need to do it. I'm gonna try and make this go pretty quick. Can I just like, scoot over here? You. Thank you. Merciless Extractor, just skip past the Wallywog entirely. And we got Honk Shoe McGee over here. I know they're not gonna- the Pikmin are not gonna go the way I'd like them to. Motherfucker. Why are you following me? Alright, you deserve it. If you're going all the way over there, you, des you deserve it. Oh no, you're coming in here? This is stupid! Let's try that again! 
<laughs> Alright, good. You don't want to put the stupid... <laughs> the stupid poison generator right in front of me. Thank you. I appreciate that. I can actually now play the floor. ready. And he's dead! Just want to get him out of the way so he's not a problem. And then we can break down the gate. Get this thing up here. Get my Duracell. Yeah, hi. We still got stuff here. Uh, here. Soap. And then grab my soap. Anything else want to fall? Rock over there. Alright, we're moving. So just so I'm not saying nothing, I would like to tell some stories today. Uh, a few days ago, I had a had a night at work. Uh, at the target that I'm at, uh, they have decided to change how some stuff works. It's really annoying. But like, when pulling stuff from the back room to go onto the floor, we use these big moving shelves to put everything on. Uh, but now they want everybody to be pulling onto these like three-tiered shopping carts that are kind of used for, like, the employees. Uh, for, like, when there's, like, drive-up orders and stuff, or doing other stuff. Uh, but we are now using these... Hello. Why, why would you spawn there? That's Peak Pikmin 2 right there. I'm just trying to get some nectar. Uh, so we're doing that. And, uh, there was a cart that was laying around in the back that had some, like, Barbies and stuff in it. Uh, we need to constantly be clearing out these carts so that we can be still pulling more stuff. It's supposed to be a more efficient process. Uh, instead it's a, a more annoying process. Uh, but I go out onto the floor, uh, to push these Barbies out. But someone stops me really quick. Uh, because they want to... Uh, they want to know if we have any, like, dart bones. And I remember seeing something like that in the sporting goods department, which was close by. So I, I told them, let me put this cart down. I put it back in the back room. And, uh, I showed them where I remember there being a dart board related thing. And, uh, they did see it. It's just not the kind of dart board thing, uh, that they were particularly looking for. Uh, but then another customer stopped me right afterward. Uh, and they wanted to know if we had some very specific Batman figures. And, uh, they were looking for, like, a whole, like, collection of stuff. These things were, like, $22, $23 a piece. And he was there with his dad, who looked like a more, like, skinny, elderly gentleman. Uh, and he had, like, all white hair and stuff, and that's not entirely important. Uh, but... Uh, we didn't have the particular figures on the floor, so I went to the back, and I found one of the things he was looking for. But I noticed that on the same shelf, there was a bunch of other stuff there. 
Uh, so I took a picture of it on my phone and I showed him when I went back out there. I'm like, hey, I have this that you're looking for, or any of these, anything you're interested in as well. And he's like, oh yeah, can I get, like, one of this and one of this? So I go back up there, I climb up the ladder in the back, I get the thing, I come back out. And altogether, I've got, like, five of these figures. Uh, as they're paying, the customer realizes he actually wants a duplicate of one of, one of the particular Batman. Uh, because he wants to give it to his friend. So I go back up there, and I get the thing again. And the, uh, the son here was, was going to pay, but then his father pulled out his wallet and he was gonna pay for it. Uh, then as, uh, as they finish paying for everything, they're like, can we get, like, a box or something to put it in? Like, a year or two ago, we stopped using, like, plastic shopping bags. Which is really annoying. Uh, I end up using the official... Uh, Splatoon 3 shopping bag from my Nintendo, uh, which is fun for me to use. It holds a lot of stuff, but they don't have that. So I was like, you know what? We might actually have a box that hasn't been crushed in the back that I can, like, grab to put these these figures in. So I go over there, and uh, we do have a box that does kind of fit, uh, but I need to, like, tape the bottom again because it was already, like, a dismantled box. Uh, so we have some trouble getting the tape to come undone so I can, like, roll it out and stuff. Uh, as that's happening, I'm- I'm always wearing a face mask on the floor. Uh, it's- it's the, uh, official, uh, Etika Joy-Con Boys face mask. Uh, the same website that has, like, the Joy-Con Boy shirts and hat, and I'm always wearing the hat when I'm out. Uh, and I like to wear the face mask when I'm at work when I'm specifically out on the floor helping customers because I don't need them looking at my face and my facial expressions and Tourette's and whatnot while, um, while I'm doing the stuff here. But the father asks me why I'm wearing a face mask and I'm just like, oh, I just like wearing it when I'm out on the floor. It's no big deal. Then he starts going on, like, an estimated, uh, ten minute tangent about how COVID isn't real and the government kept us hostage. And it's not how I expected that interaction to be going. Uh, but this- this- this thing with these- these Batman were already paid for. And this son, he's in, in like, mid-twenties probably. He's just, like, standing there listening to his father talk about all this. And at some point he goes like, Hey, Dad, Mom's waiting for us in the car, we gotta go. So he leaves? And this dad is still talking to me for another, like, three minutes about how COVID isn't real and the government's kept, kept us hostage for years. I'm not about to elaborate... Oh, this is the weed floor. I'm not about to elaborate why I'm wearing this face, ma ma face mask to this stranger who obviously does not care that I'm wearing one because he's saying all these other things. It's either that he doesn't care, or he cares too much that I'm wearing a face mask. Uh, but I'm just standing there politely and listening to him. And again, a reason why I'm wearing the face mask in general is so that people don't have to look at my face while I'm working. Because if you could see the dumbass smirk I had on my face the entire time, uh, he probably would have gotten really angry. Uh, but he was being very helpful and nice throughout the whole interaction of getting these, these Batman. <laughs> Uh, so, I didn't really have anything to complain about, I just had to sit there and be patient. It's the whole reason why I don't want to be working on the floor. Like, I worked overnight for many, many years. And by many, many years, I mean I've, I've been working there for two and a half years now. I talk about starting my position there when I was playing Pikmin 2 New Year. Please don't do that. Back when uh, Pikmin 2 New Year first came out. But, uh, I worked overnight. They recently got rid of the overnight shift due to some stupid-ass complications or whatever. So anyone who would be overnight now comes in at 4 in the morning, and I'm just like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, I'm up at 4 in the morning, but I'm up at 4 in the morning working on videos and hanging out with my friends. I'm not, like, I'm not wanting to go to work at 4 a.m. I'm wrapping up what I'm doing at night at 4 a.m. Uh, so I now work, that's why during, uh, work nights, tonight's not work night, tomorrow is, but I, I've been going live earlier at, like, 2 o'clock, 
instead of four o'clock, so that way I can still stream at two o'clock and then still get a three and a half. Like anywhere from a, a three to four hour stream in still on uh, work nights. And then I still get to come home and it's like 11, 15. And uh, then I get to work on videos and do stuff. And it's a lot, technically a lot healthier of a, uh, of a sleep schedule. Uh, but that's a work story. There we go. I can... Oh, I have a clip on my Switch of this treasure bugging out. That was really funny. You know what? I actually kind of want to show you. Uh... Let me do this. Here's a detour. Go to my Switch really quick. Get out of Splatoon. Uh, if I sort by... Uh, Pikmin 2. Uh, it's this right here. Oh, a, a different treasure spawned here. And was doing this. I'm like, yeah, thanks Pikmin 2. <laughs> You're so kind to me, Pikmin 2. <laughs> anyway. Still have one more over there. That, but then also kill this guy, please. Alright, here we go. I'm in Funny Jelly Float. Hold on. Funny Jelly Float comes from the sky. It sucks me, guys. It sucks me, guys, without permission. the hole over here. There we go. There's a lot of you guys here. Let's grab everything. Actually, I have a great idea. Uh, I see this here. That only did like half its health. Jaw. How about you come here? You're not a volatile dweevil. You're just a dweevil. Okay. Then you... That's annoying. Uh, what? Why? You were not needing to be in this corner. Please. I was not expecting that guy to show up. What did I lose? Uh, I still have enough purples, it's fine. I have just enough purples. Oh, uh, see that bitter spray I just got? Actually, isn't even needed? I do need to be over there, all right, yeah. I'm not fighting that guy. Duck. And then you're not a problem. Let me grab our jaw.
Uh, then there's... Eh? Over here. It's the Snapple. Of course, you would be here. Drink some juice. I want to go over here with just, like, the reds. Also, I don't need to be too scared. I'm going to be getting more purples during Submerged Castle anyway. I think we're at the end? No. Yes. I forgot that this final floor looks like this. For whatever the hell reason it does. Uh, I was gonna take down this wall. Alright. Let's get the red Pikmin. And there's some yellows in there, or some whites in there, rather. Guess we can get the bigger whistle, finally. Gotta move a little. And you do not have a lot of health. God, I love the random camera swap. One more cycle. And we are fine. Thank you. Oh, I want that too. There we go. Amplified Amplifier! We have the Mega Tweet! Oh, god damn it. I need everybody. The gate's not knocked down. Because, of course, they put it behind a gate. Alright, it's finally time! Cave complete. We're going into uncharted territory, everybody. I don't know what is in that small area. But we're gonna have to put everybody away because it is a blue only zone. So what's in the wacky sack? Oh yeah, we're, get we're getting strong readings. Uh, over there is submerged castle. There's jelly floats. Which I really don't need to be fighting, they're just kind of here. Greater spotted. Come on. Way too long to take down. Uh, something is gonna fall from the sky. I'm gonna save state. What is what is this? Totally non inconspicuous spot here. Hello. Uh, prog frog. Oh, no! Uh, you're an interesting fella. How the hell do you exist? The prog is real. This is awful. Why do you do that? 
this is this is not this is not a thing I like. Uh, can I spicy spray you? You I wait for your stuff. Can I like swarm you? Well, not like that. Not like this. Wait for the fart. Stop. Okay, why are we just not doing it? Okay. Okay. Well, good spicy spray. Could you, could you not exist? Can I bitter spray you? All right, well that works. I don't know if he got a custom death animation or what, but I don't care anymore, actually. Oh, I would like to bring this, this marble or whatever it is, this bead, it's part of the bead collection. I want to bring this back to the ship. Uh, that was certainly an interesting boss. Sixty-five. Oceanic Opal. Alright, that should do it for above grounds. And... Submerged Castle. And we are immediately getting into the bad. Having only two bitter sprays in here is not ideal. So how the hell am I supposed to take out the fire geysers? Like, what you changed about this mod... ...is that you made the fire geysers activate more often, so I can't fucking take them out. Like, this is actually a problem. Hello, Umbra. Like, maybe if the fire guys just had to sell any more HP... Maybe it'd be fine, but like, come on. I got my spray back. Honestly, I'm gonna duplicate that. I have to, like, dismiss them and they sometimes ignore the fire. Which is a weird thing. But I've only got one of a particular spray, that's what I like to duplicate them. I don't know why that's the case, how that just ignores that completely. Alright, we should be in the clear. Why are you going that particular direction, Pikmin AI? Also, if you just came in and you saw me collect that treasure, you may have just missed the Smoky Prog. Totally real and not fake Smoky Prog that I just fought. Uh, 
Uh, I think it's very interesting that it smokes everywhere. Uh, I did, in fact, just bitter spray it, though, and then it kind of died. I don't know if it had a custom dying animation, but if it did, I did not see it because I bitter sprayed it. I mean, Bitter Spray was the last thing that I tried, so... I did try to fight it, and then I tr and that was, like, going really slow, and then I bitter uh, Spicy Sprayed and tried to swarm it. Uh, it did not- they did not want to latch on by swarming, which was really annoying, so I was like, you know what, does a Bitter Spray work? Sometimes, uh, some enemies have, like, resistance to Bitter Spray, where they take less damage. That was not one of them. have a clip on my switch of me doing submerged castle where the baldman spawned inside the pipe and a really interesting interaction with that as it even happened I can show you let me get to the next floor first. Uh, let me do... This again. My controller could turn on. There we go. Uh, it is... This one. I don't- I- this was dumb. And that was my first interaction getting Boldman <laughs> in that playthrough. Also, while I'm here, take a look at this. Me entering shower room sub-level 1. Yippee. <laughs> uh, dolphin. There we go. I'm honestly not even gonna bother with the white candy pop button. We probably have enough uh, whites for the rest of the game? Actually, wait, no, is there buried? Okay, no, you have a thing. I don't remember if there's buried in this cave. I might actually need them. Uh, I might actually need them. Oh, cool. Uh, internet might have died. Hold on a sec. Alright, had a random hiccup. Everything's fine, though. I uh, do not care about the eggs, honestly. I do not like the way this looks. Nope, sometimes... I've been having internet issues again the last, like, few weeks, 
It's been really annoying. I went like four months without my stream dying, and then all of a sudden recently it's been doing that again. What? Get in. Go. Oh, God. We're coming through. Get my numbers back up. Are you going to be a problem? Honestly, that's fine. You can take that. Oh, we're done. Cool. I have a bad feeling about that. Yeah, I had a bad feeling about that. We've done Submerged Castle so many times, especially in the, the Pikmin 4 version. I literally did all of Submerged Castle without the water rate spawning a single time, other than the one time I wanted it to spawn. I mean, I personally like the treasure cutscene. However... Oh yeah, that's right, I have White Pikmin with me. Uh... Wow. Only one drowned. Forgot I had White Pikmin with me for a moment. I personally like the treasure cutscene. Uh, but I've played Pikmin 2 so many times that I don't really need to see it anymore. And also... Uh, Pikmin 4 does the same thing. I'm just not bothering. Let me not. Normally I'd speed up here. Gotta make sure there's not anything else falling from the sky. Really? What an interesting place for those bombs to show up. What an interesting place for that guy that guy to show up too. Alright, those blues are dying. <laughs> Double sacrifice. I just want to unlock the exit. It's pretty hard to do when you're doing this. Work on that. Everyone else goes over here. I'm actually gonna need the lights. I think those are buried. Oh no, it's a glint beetle, thank god. He's just right here. Oh, 
Alright, please book it. Ah, oh, nice clean submerged castle with no problems. Water Wraith Homest? Nonsense. down to uh, these guys I'm gonna collect the other ones I'm gonna leave in the ground because nowadays we'll only know creepers from Minecraft when we had dweebles with bombs on their backs I grew up with dweebles on bombs with our with bombs on their backs, and then I grew in, into a teenager with creepers. It's look who it is. Thank you. <laughs> You're just gonna be the little annoying guy. I have to like pre throw them. Da -da 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 Oh, I was gonna bitter spray him. I was expecting him to get thrown off. Alright, well, too bad. Finally, the end of the Explorer's Kit. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna bitter spray him. If you if you do that, he explodes into sprays. Finally, the professional noisemaker, Plucophone. And now we get these guys. I'm still gonna actually break this anyway. Let's get as much as I can, but that is it for the perplexing pool. I enjoyed the little extra area you added. It's just that my main complaint with Perplexing Pool is that the area where Submerged Castle used to be, it doesn't really have a use anymore. There's just one treasure back there and that's it. It feels like there could be like a second treasure back there or something else entirely. But that is that. Uh, I could try and get one more Bitter Spray before the day is over. That's really all I can do. Good. And now I can just pluck a foe on these guys. And we are good. All caves are clear. Ah, oh, you see the freaking cutscene? Get out of here! Go away! What are you talking about that you're still here? Two thousand and ninety-nine dollars. Spam. I'm so lonely. I want a friend that'll listen to my troubles. I mean, Pikmin.com now. Pikmin.com. Takes it to the official page for Pikmin 4 now. So, what an amazing timeline we live in. 
Uh, we do have one treasure entry to read, but we'll see if that guy shows up at the Piclopedia as well. Uh... Wally Prog. Wally Prog. Amphituber, uh, Trenfaticum. Unknown family. This, uh, uh, abomination fortunately reminds me of the horrors of my first not-so-long-ago journey to this planet. It was then when I, fir uh, when I first encountered the ethereal beast known as the Smoky Prog, which dwelled in the area formerly named the Distant Spring. Unlike the Smoky Prog, this chimera does not seem to be a malformed larva mamuda. It instead seems to be a Wallywog that unfortunately found its way to the remains of this of the wicked beast from my previous expedition and mutated from the exposure to its uh, ab uh, aberrant decomp decomposing DNA. I'd like it if you could turn around. I can just do this, actually. Neat. Then... The series out of the way. And... Down here, we have this... Oceanic Opal. Oh, we also have sales pitches for all of these custom items as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to read those too. I forgot about that. This is the most beautiful stone that I have ever seen. In my logs, I previously declared my love for blue as my favorite color. This gemstone cements that feeling for me. This special item has been sent through time and space to reach you in this special timeline. The amount of effort this took was tremendous. Hope you aren't disappointed. This special item has been sent- oh. All of these have been sent through time and space. So Olimar has stuff to say. But... The ship just says they've been set through time and space. Uh, what's interesting is that this one doesn't have a sales pitch. For some reason. But then these do. Special items have been sent through time and space. Alright, fair enough. Then never mind.